guys today doing oh this shirt looks different usually i wear dark shirts today i'm doing my top 10 10 favorite favorite figures of all time but i really only have them from 2015 so yeah my top 10 favorite figures that I own. Let's get started. Number 10 is, uh, oh yeah, A Defining Moments Undertaker. Now, um, the reason why this is really low on the list, here's the box, awesome box by the way, here you can read that, pause the video right now, okay, the reason why this is so low, if I was like a collector, I mean I'm a collector, but if I got them only so I could collect them and have them like on a shelf, I would... It would be probably, wouldn't be number one, but it would be top five. But, um, the reason is, is because it's just not very fun to play with. The cape gets in the way. Um, I don't know, it's just not very fun to play with. Um, it's cool for, like, entrances, I guess. Because it kind of looks, it's, it has a lot of cool detail and accessories. But, so if you're, like, a collector that keeps them on a shelf, I would recommend this highly. Cause it looks awesome but if you're someone that likes to play with the action figures um um it's not the best for doing that but it's still good now number nine is yeah i'm gonna have to go over here and get the figures three hours later no wait Big E. Um, this Big E figure. Let's see, I have a package. Uh, box right here. It is Basic Superstar 56. Um, this is pretty old. It's from 2014. Here's a figure. Seth Rollins when he was in the Shield. Um, Authority Kane. Goldust. A lot of that. Corporate came before he was corporate, but not demon. Um, so yeah, this has gray, a gray uh, singlet. The face can's pretty good. I, I really like the the sculpt on this figure. It's kind of different and really captures the size of his booty. Get it? Maybe that's why they do it. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cool figure. The lines on the back are cool. Um, it's pretty fun to play with, but it's just, the reason why it's on the back of my list is because, well, it's a basic, and they have elites that are better. And number eight is Stardust. Any Stardust figure, like, just get it. Stardust figures are awesome. I don't know. No, not Stardust figures. Just this, I don't know, once I took this out of the package, I knew it was, like, gonna be, I was saying, this Stardust figure, like, once I took it out of the package and played with it, I knew it was gonna be awesome. And the paint job is really good. Um, it says Stardust on the back, right there. And, uh, the face, the paint, yeah, like, I already said that. Paint job is great, but, as you can see, you can see that, there's a little paint, little black paint on the, um, nose, but that's fine. It's really good to play with. I don't know why, it's just it's really fun. Good. Um let me get a figure that we were already used. So uh you can just Okay. Boom. Boom. Bing bang diddy bang. We've already done that. Okay, who is it now? Number seven is Cesaro. This is a um basic Antonio Cesaro figure, 
but I painted on this um, arm band. I'm actually really proud of it. I'm not the best painter, as you can see, it kind of messed up there. But I'm actually, like, really proud of it. And if they, I'm pretty sure they make figures with this on. But, um, I don't know. I just really like it. And the legs, I got red paint on those. But, um, that's one of the reasons why it's on here is because of this. So, yeah. So you can see that. If you guys want me to review my very few, um, customs, they're not super good. But if you want me to review them, if you want me to do a collection of them, leave a comment. Like this video. Sorry for all the, uh, the cuts, but it just, it's because, uh. I keep getting interrupted. My baby cousin's here. Ah, here's a clip of him. What? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Ben. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I think I just finished up talking about this guy. Or was I on another figure? No. Yeah, but custom-ish. Crappy custom but I, I still like it. I, I just like the, like, kind of from a distance, it looks cool if you don't look at all the mess-ups. But, yeah. That's number seven, I believe. And making its way into, making its way into number six is British Bulldog. This is a leap. 39 British Bulldog. It came with this American flag, uh, British flag. Um, these go around his hands. This goes around his neck. I don't want to put it on him because it's kind of difficult, but yeah, I love this blue leg. It's just really cool. Face scan is good. You know, I wasn't really alive then, so I don't know exactly what he looked like, but I get the general idea, and I know this is pretty much what it looks like. And, um, I don't know, now comparing it, I feel like a Bo Dallas head would be good for a custom uh, Bulldog. But yeah, uh, it says Bulldog right there, it says British there, the British flag there, Bull and Dog on his wrists. It's creative. Bulldog on the back. Yeah, pretty, it's really cool though. Uh, the Elite, it's an Elite, so, so I already said that, but... Elite articulation, the band's white with the word, the blue word, so, yeah, cool figure, um, I wouldn't, like, completely recommend getting it, there's a lot of other figures you can get, but, I don't know, I mean, if you like collecting legend figures, like, go ahead, this is probably a really good one you can get, so, British Bulldog, Elite 39, number 6. Now way to number five battle pack dean ambrose this is a, a battle this is a figure that came with a really bad seth rollins figure which i hate but i love this dean ambrose it says dean unstable ambrose on the shirt and uh the face scan is pretty weird but i i like it a lot jeans classic dean i really want him to win the title like just Give the fans what they want. <laughs> He's like a new CM Punk, like dropping pipe bombs, but not as risky. Oh crap. Yeah, but the hair's pretty cool. The sculpt of the hair is really cool. So, yeah. Doesn't come with any accessories. Um, well, he doesn't. The battle pack comes with a money in the bank thing, but that's mainly for Rollins because he was Mr. Money in the Bank. But yeah. Number five is Battle Pack D numbers. Okay. Number four is Elite 39. Same series as the Bulldog. Dolph Ziggler. I love the Intercontinental Championship that it comes with. It's really cool. And, um, I don't really love the attire that he has on, the silver. I don't know. But, uh, it's, now he wears the pants. So, it's kind of different. But this was, I think, on the back of the box. Yeah, here's the information. I'll give you that part of the video if you want. 
but um, yeah, it says this is from February 2015, so uh, you can look at when this was published and realize that that's about a year ago. So yeah, and the boots, I don't enjoy them a lot, but they're still cool. It says over it on the back, we'll OVR it. Then there's a, looks like a half like a half naked lady on the back, but I'm not going to get into detail on that. The nice blonde hair. I feel like he started getting black dye even then. But yeah, elite articulation. Knee pads are actually like pretty big. But I'm pretty sure that's just average. I don't know. I can't find any figures that have knee pads. Here. Oh crap. I don't want to get one that's going to be later on the list. But whatever. So yeah. Here I'll put the Intercontinental Championship on him. There we go, it's around his waist. So it's pretty cool. Very, I love playing with this figure. I would recommend it. Recommend getting it. So, yeah, it's number four. And it is Elite 39. Dolph Ziggler. I think I did a review. No, no I didn't. I did a review on a basic. So go check that out. And now, number... Two drum rolls. Uh, yeah, top three. Basic WrestleMania 31 Roman Reigns. Um, this figure is really good. The um the logo on the vest it kind of eh, makes me mad because it's kind of crooked. But I'm not gonna. I do care about that. I've always noticed that. I don't know if that's for every figure or if it's just for mine. But yeah, I love the gloves. I did a swap with another Roman Reigns. I swapped the hands and the head and then the vest, but it's all the same. The pants are the same and uh, arms are the same. It's just that the torso had a bigger tattoo. So yeah, if you hear stuff downstairs, it's um, a show that my uh, baby cousin is watching. Again, the clip. Um. So yeah, I love that design on there. Really cool figure. Definitely would recommend having it. Even though it's a basic, it's still awesome. Yeah, $10. Amazing. And making his way to number two is... Alterito! amazing figure this is a basic by the way but it has elite articulation um there's also i really want the battle pack with hornswoggle and um alterito comes with like a little table which is awesome and uh yeah and they both have elite articulation even though usually battle packs have two basics yeah but this is really cool um it's just really fun to play with definitely would recommend picking this up but like i don't know i there's better figures to choose from definitely like i don't know if you want i don't know but get this if you see it like if you're deciding over a john cena over this get this like uh i don't know just get it it's awesome i love it it's fun to play with fun to have like good to have so number two is basic El Torito. I threw out the box. Crap. El Torito. Yeah, elite articulations. The legs aren't very good, but yeah, I still love it. The hands are small. Small, small. And now... is drum roll please (laughs) 
Ellie 37. Seth. Friggin' Rollins. I love this if they get so much. It comes with a Money in the Bank briefcase. A shirt. I don't like the shirt. It's a little too small. It shows just the end of his skin. But I don't really like it. And it's hard to get on and off. Those rubber shirts. I don't even own a cloth shirt. I want a cloth shirt. But, um, yeah. Elite 37. So we got the Elite Articulation. Face scan's pretty good. Again, it probably won't focus. But, yeah. And then the half yellow. Half black. Well, not exactly half. But the hairline's coming to the side. But, uh, yeah, the beard is nice. The black gloves, black lines on the back. Amazing figure. Would pick it up. I would recommend you pick it up right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hi! <laughs> and, uh, subscribe, like, comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!